Welcome to Everyday Math, Home Link 2.7, Partial Sum Addition. Please read the family note before beginning. Now the partial sum addition, we are looking at partial parts of each problem. Solve each addition problem. You may want to use partial sums method. Use a ballpark estimate to check your answer to make sure it makes sense. Write the number model to show your estimate. So the students should look at number one, 245 and 92. They can estimate that 245 is close to 250, 92 is close to 100, and they can put their answer of 350. Now, with partial sum, we look at the place values. So the students can first look at the hundreds place value they can notice that the 2 is in the hundreds place and there is no number here so 200 is all by itself if you cover up the 4 and the 5 it's 200 so we've used the 2 we cross it out we now look at the tens place which is 4 tens which is 40 and 9 tens which is 90 so we ignore the ones place we're only looking at the tens so 4 plus 9 is 13 but it's 10 so 40 plus 90 is 130 so we cross out the 9 and the 4 we've used those and we go to the ones place and we have 5 plus 2 now because it's the ones place 5 plus 2 is 7 now we draw our line and we make a new addition problem so all zeros plus the 7 is 7 0 plus 3 is 3 and the 2 plus the 1 is the 3. It's partial sum. You're taking parts of the product to make a new sum. So you're taking different parts of the add -in to create your answer. In number 2, you have 120 plus 215. A good ballpark could be 100 plus 200. And these are just examples. Some students will ballpark a little closer. Maybe 120 and 220. And I get 300 as my answer for that one. Now, again, we are going to start with the hundreds place because you're starting with partial sums. So you're looking at 1 in the hundreds, which is worth 100. So it's 100 plus the 2 of 200. And that gives us a total of 300. Cross out the 1 and the 2. You now have 24 plus 15. When you look at the tens place, the 2 and the 1 are in the tens, so it's 20 and 10. 20 plus 10 is 30. Cross those out so you know you've used them. You're down to your ones place, which is 4 plus 5, which is 9. Create a new addition problem for these. 0 plus 0 plus 9 is 9. The 0 plus 3 is 3. And 3 plus nothing is 3. 339. Problem number 3, you have 245. We'll round up to 250. 250 plus 317. We'll add to 300 as a ballpark. Equals 550. So our answer will be somewhere within that answer. Now again, take the hundreds place. 245, you have 200. And the students can write this on the side, plus 300, because you have the 3 in the hundreds place. You're ignoring these other two numbers and the other place values and only worrying about one place value at a time. The 2 plus 3 is 5, and you have the two zeros for 500. They cross those out, and now you have 45 plus 17. The 4 represents 4 tens, because it's in the tens place, so it's 40 plus the 1 ten is 10, so 40 plus 10 is 40. 50. Cross them out. You've used them. Now you have 5 plus 7 in the ones place. So 5 plus 7 is 12. Add these two, or excuse me, three new numbers. 0, 0, and 2 is 2. 0, 5, and 1 when you add is 6. And the 5 is by itself, so it drops down. Your answer is 562. In problem number 4, you are adding 366, so you can ballpark that to 400 plus 200 when it's 208, gives you 600. Again, 
ballparking start and then you go to the math problem the three in the hundreds place is worth 300 plus the two in the hundreds place is 500 then the six is in the tens place as is the zero if there's nothing in the tens place it's a zero it's 60 plus nothing which is 60 the six plus the eight is 14 add those you have four seven and five in problem number five you have 459 we'll go to 450 plus 168 most students will want to move that up to around 200 which equals 650 ballpark the four in the hundreds place and the one in the hundreds place so 500 when you add them up you may cross them out if you'd like it's 50 plus 60 which is 110 and the 9 and the 8 equals 17 when you add them up. Draw the line, add. You should have 627. In the final problem, you can ballpark to 800 plus 450 or 1250, and they can put the comma if they like. It is 700 plus 400, so that gives you a total of 1100 cross those out. I'm going to cross this out as well. The 6 and the 4 make 100 and the 5 and the 9 make 14. When you add these up you have 4, 1, 2, and 1. The common it's 1014. If you have any questions on this homework, this is a new skill. If you do have any questions please contact me by phone or by email. Thank you.